Hello, I'm Dr. Squirra. I'm a well-claimed eye doctor in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Ever since I was a boy, I wanted to work with eyeballs. So, the day that I got my diploma was the happiest day of my life. Just look at it. Oh, sorry. Some guy cheering for me spilled coffee on my diploma. Either that or dog poop was thrown out. Anyway, how will you see me do my business? Now, Mr. Yokus. Mantis. What brings you here? Well, as you can see, whenever I blink, I make a strange sound. Well, Mr. Mantis, judging by your resume, I guess that's because you're a huge jackass and a terrible supervillain. How does that make sense? I'm a doctor. Listen to me. Oh, oh, you just go suck. Geek. I don't think I yank your yank woods. What? I just said, suck an egg. I still don't yank it. All right, Mrs. Saxon, time to examine your lovely trail of eyes. <laughs> now, let me rephrase that. You're trying to get a woman with tiny breasts to make it with you, and see full yellow juice at your right eye, and that's why I can't open your right eye anymore, right? That's right, Doctor. <laughs> ah, it's still burns. You guys, it? Hmm. Now, car. Let's check your eyes, shall we? Now, stab yourself in the neck. <laughs> What's wrong, Cookie? My eyes keep rolling and rolling every day, every year, and every time I eat cookies. Why is that, Doc? Well, Cookie Monster, judging by your name, it's obvious that you yet your addiction to cookies control your mind and body, and that soon result into good socializing. So, maybe you should learn how to self-control. Thanks for advice, Doc. Hey, what about me? Well, Derpy Hooves, it's because you're an accident. Oh, why does everybody think I'm stupid? So, why are you here? My eyes are freakishly huge! Do you do eye surgery? Yes, and it's because you're artificially made, Bubbles. What are you made of, anyways? The professor told me I was made of sugar, spice, and everything nice! And chemical eggs! Jeez, that professor must have been high when he came with those ingredients. My eyes are freakishly huge too, Doc! Well, that's because you're so freakishly bratty. Muchas gracias, Dr. Phil. Now, what can I do for you, Toucan Sam? Please, just call me Sam, Doctor. Whatever. So, Sam, what brings you here? Well, I was told by my friends that whenever I face head-on, I look weird. How's that? So, basically, each of my eyes are on each of the sides of my head. Well, well, that's an image I want to erase from my mind. Yeah, I get that, Yacht. What brings you here, Mr. McPherson? My eye peoples keep on disappearing. <coughs> Damn it, Darcy blows! Ha 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 ha, that zone never gets old. More glasses for life fun on the way, folks, after this message. <laughs> Fido! You peed on my only other good dress! Bad dog, bad! You tired of your dog giving trouble? Well, get ready for the newly developed, newly tested, and newly licensed Bad Dog Box! Put your repulsive poots inside the box so it won't cause any more destruction or acts of indecency. And yuck! There's holes so your doggy can still yuck and breathe. This is terrific! Now my dog will not pee on my things, don't worry about me and give me rabies! <laughs> Anyway, many people are raving about the bad dog box. Wallace from Wallace and Gromit says this box is cracking. Yet Gromit thinks that it's degrading to the canine species. Another customer says this product doesn't make my dog do its business. Is this thing made on drugs or something? <laughs> so, or bad dog box now, right now, and you get 60% off the normal price. If you don't want your bad dog to suffer the same fate as old Yower, then get your bad dog box now! Now, now, now I say, NOW! I don't care if we can't afford it, I want better sponsors! Oh, 
Yes, um, well, we're back to this reality show that I assume will be cancelled within next week. Tell me, Mr. Boggs, why do you squint your eyes? Well, it was back in college. My former roommate Mike said that glasses are for nerds, and they're unacceptable if I want to be in with the cool kids. And that's why I want him gone. Um... Okay, yo, uh, but you know, being visually impaired is a serious concern, Randall, and you shouldn't have to let people tell you how to live your life. You be yourself. And I wear glasses, as you can see, and I'm proud of it. Besides, glasses are cool! Yeah, you tell him, Doc! Here, Randall, a new pair of glasses. They are just like the pair I used to wear. Mr. Duckman, for me to examine your eyes, I need your glasses off. But doctor, my glasses are my eyes! See? Wow. Well, that's yet another disturbing image I want to erase from my mind. Ugh. Why to this day, appearances still matter? Whatever happened to a Duckman, if you want to rant for a whole hour, get your own reality show. Okay, okay. I can help only one patient at a time, only on yes, they're conjoined twins, a cat dog, or that two-headed monster from Sesame Street. Now, I understand that you all may share the same problem, but please, one at a time, you freaks! <laughs> Doctor, my wife here can stop sick her damn eyes! Well, I don't know what to do about that. I don't even see if that phenomenon can exist. You know, I find Mr. and Mrs. Patel have had the ability to remove their facial features. You know why? Because it's their dang purpose! But your wife, on the other hand, having the ability to remove her eyes is utterly impossible and uncanny. Like I said, I don't know how to fix this surrealism. I had a long, hard day today. I want to go home, so leave now! Stop yelling! I'm not yelling, you're the one yelling! You're both yelling, so shut up! You shut up, you wit! Don't talk to my wife like that! Don't say that, you hypocrite! Let's all just agree to shut up! Wow. Well, maybe working as an eye doctor doesn't give me the same enthusiasm as waking up on Saturday mornings as a kid, watching Aunt Mason and eating cereal with 30 grams of sugar. I knew I should become... A Shakespearean actor! I don't know why I'm here. I don't even have eyes. By the way, I think you're gonna be an overzealous prick in the theater. Yeah, anyway, my work here is done. Remember, kids, eat lots of carrots, always have yite when reading, and keep swipes yemens away from your eyes. Next time on The Eye Doctor is Your Friend, an epilogue for all of Yas episode's patients. <coughs> hey, Captain. Uh, uh, what's up with your eyes? Don't want to talk about Kenny. Next time! Uh, we're gonna be cancelled by next week, won't we? Thank <laughs> you.